Yeah, Rap Radar Podcast, Elliot Wilson. My name is B-Dot. B-Dot, what's up, baby? Feeling good, man. Yo, this guy in the right, man. Dominating the charts, A Boogie. Yep. He's everywhere. It's A Boogie with the hoodie. Hobbers the label, yeah. What's going on, Bubba Hobbers the label? Chubby down in the building. <laughs> QPHBTL. Try it, man, you know, the label. To, to people that don't know, like, can you give them a little backstory about how you guys came in the game? Because you guys came in the game, like, with the business acumen, not just the I music. See too. Icy, very icy. <laughs> icy. Facts. Okay. Came in the game, youngest in charge, man. We got a vision and we here, we trying to make it happen. Yeah. How did that work out? Atlantic saw the vision though, right? From the beginning? That's a fact. Atlantic, they 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 came up to us, we partnered with them. Hybrid's the label, Atlantic, A Boogie, Don Q. We got Trap Manny here. Mm. Just yes, signed him this year. Trap. Okay. Mm-hmm. Trap lady, welcome, welcome, Trap brother. Trap going crazy right now, man. That boy going crazy right now. But Boogie, you even said the day after Christmas, you said that you, Bubba, and QPB on that red couch two or three years ago planning mm-hmm. this shit out. Like, is this exactly how you visioned it? And we doing it again. Mm. Mm-hmm. We started all over, man. We doing it again. What do you mean we doing it again? I feel like this is the beginning again right here, man. Like, we got a whole new start right now. It's like... <laughs> but you're number two right now on the Billboard charts. You selling a whole I lot of records. I ain't number one yet. We ain't number one. We need <laughs> that. You number know what I'm saying yet. though? Like you know what I'm saying? The, the sales numbers with 21 Savage are real close though. Like you guys right. are both dominant. Both records are doing exceptionally well. Like it's right. gotta feel exciting to kind of have one of the biggest records closing the year and starting the year. That must feel good, right? Yeah, it feels great, man. It feels amazing. Life is amazing right now, for real, man. God bless. Word. So what was your approach with Hoodie Season? Like what made that project, you know, different than the other projects you've cooked up? I feel like hoodie season. It, it got a lot of um, it, it had a lot of time for me to pick options, and you know, like hoodie season wasn't it wasn't no overnight shit right there. You took more time with it that. Took me a long time, and I made about for me hundreds of songs during the process. So it was hard really picking out out eighteen songs, twenty songs out of those whole for me. So does the team get involved with that? Do y'all get involved in picking the songs? Yeah, like how, how does that involved. work? Yeah, everybody, involved, everybody got their for me favorite songs, but we all come together as a group and really listen to the music and really see what's what's that and what the fans is going like. It's not about us all the time for me. It's about the fans, my yeah. fan base, like, and that's what we had to learn. It's all about like. It's not. It's not about trying to pick different genres all the time. You could go there for me, but you got to balance it out and have your fan base happy at all times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For me. But you tested the waters out. You put out the little four track joint in yeah. like September, the before hoodie season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but that was just like. Too. Yeah. Oh, international! You talking about internet? Well, did they think? He talking about when I dropped three minute combo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was just me and like I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I dropped that shit over frustration because I ain't dropping in a long time. Mm. I was like, fuck that. Hey, for me mm. that y'all can hide this right here. I was gonna probably throw that on the album like three minutes. That's why I made four minute combo. Yeah, I'm about to feel me. I'm about to do. A, I'm about to do a two minute combo. I'm about to go. I was about to say it feels like go. that's like your most personal yeah, right series. Now, I like it that feels right like. now. Yeah, I like that right now. So I'm gonna go back to two minute combo. Go to five minute combo. I'm gonna hit those words. Well, it seems like like those are the most therapeutic records for you. Feel like you get a lot off your chest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't really get to talk like that in my music. And right now, I feel like artists and like artists and I'm making an EP called A Boogie versus Artists. Right now, I thought about it and <laughs> it, right now it's like a, it's, it's it's a different me right now, man. Mm-hmm. And and I gotta take control of this right now while I got it. And I gotta just feel me attack right now. It's that time, man. So, Bubba, how time. do you think A Boogie's grown as an artist through the, through the years? He's going crazy. Going up. Yeah, he's going. I ain't gonna lie, it's just like he matured as an artist, like everything, like as a person. Like it's been some time, so. And it's too easy for him right now. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, <laughs> like, I was for like, real, yeah, like it's, just, it's just too easy for him. Like, he just be knocking them shits out. Like, Yep. But what about this guy Don Q? Because you put out the underrated mixtape a couple know of days how, ago. I'm on it right now. I'm about to just cook up some crazy. I'm about to do something special, though. I'm thinking about doing something for the females. I ain't mm-hmm. never, I ain't Ooh, never, I'm, I want to challenge myself as a oh, as yeah, an artist. Okay. I feel like I already, the streets, everybody already knows what's up. Like, and my man, nobody, my man nobody, is the hottest in the streets. Ain't nobody could, to, to do that how I do that, you feel me? Right. And I know it's, it's that's easy for me to do that. So it's like, I want to challenge myself and see mm. if I could do the same thing with the, with the females on another side. I ain't going to be on the shit singing and all that <laughs> stupid shit. Like not saying like you know it's from not saying like, nah hey, nigga that's not for you that's yeah, for me. Like, I ain't about to you know, like, I'm gonna be fucking around and shit, but it's gonna be fire. I'm gonna put some shit out. You feel it's like crazy that's missing out your arsenal. Was saying that yeah. earlier, mm, yeah. he was like, "Yo, Don can't start singing this shit, bro." Nah, <laughs> nah Don is Don. I already know. But, but Boogie's scared to try new shit. Boogie say you the best spit in this shit right that's now. That's a fact. Who you can name that can put in front of me right now? He's gonna 
Do something. Mm. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> yeah, fuck nah, that ass the real shit. Fuck the hype and all that. When it come like like literally when it come to really talking it's on bars, beats and shit and bars, bars. Mm-hmm. nobody can't fuck with my music. And and the thing about bars right now is just underappreciated. Yeah. Like nobody really appreciates what, what's being said. They only appreciate like how right. it sounds. That's so. why I'm really trying to bring new, like like good music for me, like real good music to this era, like real music, not just like songs where it's, you turn up to, you can have those every once in a while, but I need that real shit that you can really listen to and like have, have somebody cry off a song, shit mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Like, I don't wanna, for me, I'm tired of this music right now, I mean, I want, I'm trying to change this era to some to some real good music right now, man, real shit. And like music get played out fast though, like. Real fast. I do, like a couple weeks real to fast. a month. You trying to hear some music? That's why you gotta keep it coming. Yeah, so keep I, I realized that as I'm still a fan. I make music, but I'm still a fan. So I listen to niggas shit, and then I'll be like, like after like probably a month, few weeks, I be like, I want to hear something else, man. It's mm. a it's a lot of quantity, so not I enough think, quality. I think about when I drop something, niggas is on the same type of time. So if I drop something, then a month later, niggas like want to hear something else that I don't drop for fucking six, seven months. Niggas is like, right. niggas is forgetting like, on to the next. Yeah, like, Facts. Whatever. So you gotta make sure you always relevant, always dropping. Cause I saw Boogie tweeted that you say you're trying to be like one of the all time greats of this generation. So and you said mark my words. Man, like be the qu- goat, man. I'm trying to be the goat. Can't be, man. One thing about us too, we don't got no cheat codes. Like mm. we we're already like, legendary. No, no cosign, generation. No we cosign, still here, so we'll see it. We already legendary. Nah. It's already standing. No major cosigns like that. We like we doing this shit. Like it's real already shit. in the concrete. You put it's already there already. Average <laughs> label. We already stand legendary. What makes a person a all time great What qualities do you think They need to have Longevity mm-hmm. Longevity That's like the most Important thing uh-huh. Or I just had to talk But I had to make sure I'm writing The next 5, 10 years Or not just the talk Like actions mm-hmm. too For me It's, it's real A lot of niggas Come and go mm-hmm. Right There have been A thousand niggas That came and went and we're talking about aspiring to greatness. He took a lot of Michael Jackson nods on this record. Mm-hmm. Like they would look back at it. Like, Shout out to the goat. Where man. did that come from? Like even doing the ad libs and like the energy. Like what? What made you go there with it? Man, remember the time and um, you rock my world is my two favorite songs from Michael Jackson. Period. Mm. Like, I could well, I listen to them songs all day. So yeah, da 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 part. And the other part from um, that my life, how the song came on, mm-hmm. I just love those vocals, how, how Mike put it on that shit. So I had to flip that. I didn't know I was gonna be able to clear it, but mm. I had to flip yeah, it. Yeah, QP, how does that happen, baby? <laughs> what it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a tough process, but it took us like eight months to clear. Damn. We, we cleared it like like Boogie made the song in December, and we cleared it like like we got the clearance around August. Mm-hmm. So I was like an eight month process, and then it was just structuring the song, making sure that it sounded good, and it was ready. Do you get frustrated with a moment like that? Eight months is a long I mean, time. I mean, you can't. Yeah, you you can't. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get frustrated a lot, but my partner Bubba, he keeps me calm, though. You know, like he 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 tells me to keep it cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, tight. you just gotta. You can't. You can't. If you can't fold, you just gotta keep it. Keep it going. But you knew the record was something special. It was worth it. The whole label, Atlantic Harbors, the label. We all knew it was special. And Any person I felt showing. like that listened to that song. Said the same thing about it. That's what I knew. Like, damn, from any age, like from older to younger, it was crazy. When I came in with the verse and I did the other um, flow, that's when I knew it was something. And I speeded it up. And I was like, nah, this sounds crazy. <laughs> you, you could do anything anything to the song. Like, it's like a light feet anthem if you speed it up. And it don't got no, like, bass and none of that. So it's kind of different. It's like, it's not usual. You wait for the bass, but it's no bass that. It's like a lead for that for me. Mm. You call yourself the rapping Mike, and on rapping young, the right, yeah, on young Mike. You said that on the bigger artist too. So I feel, I feel like if Michael came from the streets, and he was rapping. <laughs> he would rap like this. <laughs> 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 Word, but even um, like how you have been rapping, like this year you talk about like how you have made more money, made a million dollars, and you spent it on stupid shit. I think you talked about on the bigger artist. Yeah, that was like my first second year in, in the game. And now it feel like <laughs> I'm past that now. Now I'm on like, what's, like I don't even want to talk. I'm the type of person that I don't like to talk about my business actually what's going on. Mm. Probably until it's done in the future, I'll probably I'll talk about it. But right now, I'm on, I'm on some type of shit where it's like, man, I'm getting to it, keeping it quiet, doing this music thing, how I'm supposed to be doing it, man, and killing, dominating, not just regular music. Like, can we Five, bring, but like that. that's the, that's the great thing about us is like we 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 doing it under the radar like we ain't really mm. got the the spotlight like as a a bigger label like a QC a TDE we just harvest a label we just twenty five and under doing this and like really at a at a at a yeah. high level 
We really giving people motivation, though, because we came from the bottom, like, for me, growing up in the Bronx, like, going through shit, all that, and we making it happen. Yeah. So everybody else could do it, too. So we showing people, like, yeah. you know, younger kids, that you could do this, too. Right. Yeah. You know I mean, you could, you, could, you could make it out the Bronx, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and do what you want to do. Do you, you feel like... I was just about to say, man, you can't do nothing about destiny for real. Mm. Do you feel, do you feel like you achieved what you wanted with the last album, International Artist? Because I saw it. Nah. Mm. You say you like you felt I like was, the people I was, was gonna happy with that. Really? Because I realized something and I learned something. I'm, I'm happy that I learned from it though. You know why? Because mm. when I dropped it, I was my goal was intentionally to reach like to other fan bases, like I said, other countries and all that. Right. But I realized I can't, I can't try to do that like that. I gotta make. Like, my fans basically let them know type shit, you know? Like, still make my type of music, mm. but let it get to that point where I could really switch up and then go back, switch up and go back. Right. I feel like I'm not at that point yet right now. Probably next year, but right now I got I got something for me. I got some explaining to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's still like, like you knew that going into it, your fans were not necessarily going to yeah, feel it, though, I, right? I planned this whole thing out. It's crazy because I dropped it and I was like, yo. My fans are gonna hate me for this. I told all these niggas, like, yo, my fans are gonna hate me for this shit. And it was like, yo, just do it, just do it. We dropped it, boom. And I was like, damn, man, I see these comments. We was all like, damn, you see these comments, you see these comments. <laughs> we was looking back at that shit, like, damn, this shit is horrible, bro. It's all good. The music, the quality of the music was good, it's just yeah. that it wasn't the normal A Boogie that you used to hearing. Yeah. Facts. So, now, how are like, you able to strike a better balance on this album, do you think? I, I was trying to talk to in the future, like, ah, right, all this car fly shit too much. I got two over my head with the money a little bit, and I was talking about money a lot. And that's when I really realized, like, I came I came in this game really, like, talking to people and having people get into people's hearts and all that. So that's why I just, like, I thought to myself, like, damn, why not talk about what's really going on in my life? Like, love situations, three situations, in the, in the game, everything for me. How have you guys managed to stay so tight knit like over the last three years? You know, people who have fallouts, we never see anything going on with Highbridge. I feel like well, you see how people say money make you change. Ah, that's that's true, right? But with us, we we all here to keep us at that at that point where we don't go past that shit. Like we got people around us that's from the hood that's still in the project that still live there right now. Mm. Like literally, mm -hmm. we, we go to their for me, we go to their cribs. They was good to their moms. Like we still see that shit. So it ain't like. We we too Hollywood for me. We understand everything still for me. Cause mm -hmm. I saw on the, uh, I remember on the retaliation you said like a couple of people you grew up with don't even fuck with you no more. You think it's probably because yeah. of the money, right? Yeah, yeah. And people like people expect you to be the one that's like that's like gonna be this. Ah, uh, you don't you don't fuck with me no more because you got money. But nah, it's like this lifestyle is so busy that like, literally the person that that I used to be would not understand myself right now. Mm -hmm. That's how it's crazy. Like. I, yeah. That's why I understand those where them, where them people come from too. Like, yeah. I was there before. Mm. Or, but even Q, like I remember on your mixtape, you said I want to think the record "Don't uh, Pick Me Up." How you like don't mix business with emotions, right? Mm -hmm. oh, pick up, pick up, yeah. yeah. But like, how, mix business with emotions. Yeah, but how's like as your profile and you know cr increases and rises? Like, has there been moments where you've had that revelation where you realize like, yo, I can't really mix these two? Yeah, it get like that because. Like sometimes you work with certain people, like people that you generally love, they probably look at it as they don't have to work as hard because we uh you got we it. friends <laughs> or we family like that. Mm -hmm. So they be like, I could I could slack a little bit, it's my right. man. But if you was working for a nigga you ain't know, you be making sure you be on your shit because mm -hmm. he nigga might get you out of here with no no question and shit like that. Let me so shit like that is different. You can't really mix all your business mm -hmm. and shit like that. So it's all about like managing expectations, I guess. Yeah. Right. Boogie, you say you had a record with Lil Durk, Beyonce, and Jay-Z. What's the concept behind oh, that one? Fire. It's basically, the concept is how girls want to always be like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z and Beyonce is the top like, couple of your relationship <laughs> goals. And it's, That's the fact. And it's like every girl out there want that. And with a with a person with money, they expect that. from I mean, They expect that lifestyle. Mm. Come, let's go on a private jet over there. Like I said in that song, chat to a Uber sounds nice. <laughs> yeah. You said, so you ain't ready for that, man. You talk a little bit about that thing called drug sex a lot yeah. now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too much of that. And then um, expectations is, yeah, like like we were saying earlier, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> but it seems like you still got that DTB mentality of book throughout the, throughout the album. Like, Yeah, I feel like that, that, that part of my life has always stuck with me. Mm. Yeah, 
like on I Did It or even Voices in Your Head, like those, you can't, can't shake it off? <laughs> it's crazy, but man, I don't even like talking about talking about that stuff no more, like that type of like heartbreak and stuff. But my like like I said, I got to give my fans what they want to hear. Right. It's crazy because look, I started off, boom, artist, artist, the first one, first mixtape. I came out with that, a heartbreak on A-Boogie, boom, boom, boom. And then after that, it was like I was happy because I got love and I got yeah. famous. I got all this money. I'm happy. I'm rapping about money, fly shit, all this other stuff. And now the fans is like, ah, they kind of they kind of losing me. And that's what I really noticed and woke up like, damn. And that's when I started going crazy on every track, though, for real. Back to back to back to back. That's why everybody looked at me like, nah, you really a monster. <laughs> yeah. well, for real, I, can't, mm -hmm. I can't stop. Still can't stop. As an artist, you're supposed to grow, though, with your music. Yeah, I get an urge so, to record. It, it, you can't literally. really stay in the same place forever. <laughs> you still showcase your fatherhood though with your daughter. Like she you got like her own IG out here mm -hmm. moving. Yeah, yeah. Doing Melody, Melody lit it. she lit right now. She getting her, her own album soon. Um <laughs> Melody, right? Melody. Yeah, Melody. Melody coming real soon. Probably after artistry. Artistry. How do you adjust the father, Bubba? Yeah, I see your dad now too, right? Mm -hmm. Your father yeah, now yeah. too. Got kids. Oh, y'all got kids, right? No, I don't uh, got oh, kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter was born um a year after his but In two days Two days Oh after. wow so so February 16th And the 14th yeah, and the 14th Wow So our, our daughter's birthday Is just back You got her in the lab too man You guys are <laughs> The next generation Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Let's get it <laughs> I said they saw someone said that if you guys are gonna sign A female artist to hybrid You said maybe Boogie Is that a possibility Hmm <laughs> She might get a deal She, she might get a deal next year Hmm she got to be nice, though, because yeah, everybody gotta, that's signed with us comes, is nice. It comes. She got to have that I mean, shit. it's 2019. I meant to say this year. Mm. This year right here is that year. It's hard, though, like, trying to pick, pick somebody right like there. Like, yeah. Trying to find a female. But whoever she is, I, she got to come this year. Every, right every, 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 like, everybody that, that like, because like, I be talking to Kaiser and, you know, all of them, they be telling me, like, yo, females is really hard to deal with. Mm. Yeah. Like, they really hard to deal with. So, like, you know, I'm just like, you know, me sometimes I'm short fused. So it's like, damn, mm. shit, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to deal with a female artist. Mm. <laughs> so, we're gonna see. Well, what yeah, qualities yeah, do you look for, for for an artist, period, though? Like, authentic mm -hmm. yeah. and raw. Just have your own type of sauce, have your own flavor. Well, I like mm. seeing unique stuff and like yeah. different styles yeah. and shit. I don't like seeing when somebody try to make a whole nother image try to be of like another this person for me. using. It's it's cool. It sound good, but like my yeah, man Trap got his own sauce. Mm -hmm. Trap, talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy some Trap guy. Trap How'd you get down? Sauce, <laughs> yeah. 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 I bet everything on Trap. Everything, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything I got. Literally. <clears throat> so what up, makes Trap so special? Trap, what makes you so special, nigga? I don't know why Why y'all ask. I need to go look on YouTube. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, go look on the fucking tube, man. Trap, yeah. baby. I'm so special. <laughs> what's what's your favorite? <laughs> what song you want on the bump to, nigga? <laughs> what song you want Trish on the bump to? Trish is out right now. Relentless, Young and Rich. I just dropped a snippet on Horror Star. I mean, on uh -huh. my Instagram. Go check it out, man. <laughs> so would you guys sign an outsider artist, like from another city? Have you guys haven't done that yet, right? We ain't find an outsider. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody's from everybody from the neighborhood. Yeah. Mm. Is it hard though? Be good. Look, if, 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 if it happens, it happens. Yeah, so it's, it's not like, like not, it's not, not purpose. Denying though. anybody yeah. from the outside. It wasn't even on purpose. We're we not trying to keep it in house, like yeah, yeah. Be, like we we go wherever. We ain't taking that petty. Like I go to Japan or something. They they nice. It just it just happened that way. Right. It's just everybody. This is just a lot of talent in Highbridge. You see, Cardi B is gonna be unique. Right. Yeah. Cardi B could have been right here with us right now. For sure. But is it difficult when people come up to you want to sign and you know get down when you sound like an able? You sound like a Don Q, yeah. Right? yeah, that's the most but annoying that, part. But too. it happens though. You mm -hmm. hear Everybody somebody that sound, sound like, like me and then come to me like, "Yo, it be working." How does it sound? Mm. Like me, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how you know you're doing something great, though. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love that, jokes. but not to like sign really. I love that. I yeah, love when people sound like me. Some people do it though. Like, Some people sound really people that sound like you. They feel like to keep them under the wing. Right. All right, you my son. Don't make me my. It might pop off of my style. Yeah, and I'm gonna eat off that. But you. It's just trendsetter shit for real. Like you make something good, somebody's one gonna make, like create it, create another. But it's hard to do that. You got. That's why I always say, don't try to be like nobody. Just be yourself. Mm. You but you do love that camaraderie like though of New York though, because I saw on IG you said New York rappers try to come up by hating on other New York rappers and dick riding out of town. Yeah, I'll be hating <laughs> that shit. 
Yeah, New York <laughs> niggas do not get a little. That's why it's dumb funny. You see Atlanta and them niggas all oh, friends, buddy, buddy over here. That's not true though. What? Not all of them. Nah, not nah, all. That's that's not. Yeah, you're right. That's not true. Not right. all of them, but a lot it of them is, though. It is true compared to New York. Yeah, compared, mm. to, compared to, New to New York, it is 100 percent true. Man, but that's what's interesting that you you bigged up Takashi, right? People might be gonna say, oh, he's gonna be a rival because he's a new artist in New York making noise, but yeah. you befriended him from Jump, and as always. Yeah, that was bro. We was in London when we met. People mm. don't even know that. We from we've been cool really before he blew up. But after he blew up, it was like even, it was crazier. Cause like I ain't even knew the nigga was gonna blow up that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Feel me? Nobody knew that. Cause yeah. everybody, everybody really hated on him. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody yeah. hated on him and didn't want him to go that far because of the way he was doing stuff. Absolutely. But it worked for him, and now nobody got nothing to say about it. <laughs> but you said you always just cooled him off camera, like the the real person. You got to get yeah, to yeah, the yeah, real facts, person. Facts. Yeah. And I ain't a nigga. I never try to like bash other artists from the town in New York and shit like that. Like I don't know how niggas could. Come out their face and just be talking about niggas like that. You we from the same place, like you come out your face saying this nigga that, mm -hmm. this nigga that. But a nigga from out of town, you wanna be on this nigga dick. You wanna be around these niggas like that. You know what it was? Cause, cause people be like, like it's like they admire like what we doing, yeah, but like, they they don't know how to like approach the situation. They probably think, so it's like, well, they probably right, think we Hollywood niggas like these, nigga, these I ain't no Hollywood nigga, nigga. I'm a regular nigga, like you feel me? So you ain't gotta do that to reach me. Like you do that, I'm looking at you like a cornball now. And they don't even know that we ain't even on the type of time where we gonna try to attack. We gonna type of time where we gonna just shine and make you cry off our success. For real, I'm man. never gonna mention. I'm never gonna respond. <laughs> so right. think, fact, bro, right. any any of us never gonna respond to a nigga on the internet. Facts like, never respond. Like to niggas, a... I, niggas did it. Like see the Kodak shit. That shit was. I ain't never doing that shit again. Like whatever it is, what it is. Mm -hmm. Like say what you gonna say. You say whatever you gonna whatever. Like I ain't mentioning niggas no more on the internet. None of that right. Shit. But you mentioned on loving drugs and sex about how you fell off track with with Kodak. Why Why did you touch on that there? Because I never mentioned anything. I never said nobody name ever. And I and I just feel me had to say it one time on the track. Mm. That was all. Yeah, this, that shit ain't, this niggas is crazy though. <laughs> New York, we gotta do better, man. As, <laughs> as, as a better. union, man, we gotta do better. I swear to God, we gotta it's do better. Like, I New fuck York. with a couple of niggas. I New fuck York. with East. I fuck Wait with the Cavs. fuck up, New York. <laughs> Are you and Nicky in a good place? <laughs> I don't know, nigga. Oh, okay. I don't know. I that's, just I just spoke to Cardi B today, like for the first time. That's really? a, that's another yeah. thing. Like you know, the higher ups really don't really kind of reach so reach out to us. Nigga, don't even fuck with me. Like, oh, God, nigga, don't even fuck with me. It's all good, though. It's all good, though, because, you know, we just going to make it in our own way. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's destined. It's there already. We mm -hmm. just got to go and get it. That's it. Facts. We you know what to do. We going right, to make it happen. Yeah. That's the thing about us. We don't really care about... You don't like play the industry game. Don't care nah, about we don't, a ladder. don't care about a ladder. <laughs> but it seems like you guys have a lot of misconceptions about yourselves. Like, like Nah, we had a lot of learning to do. Mm -hmm. And we learned. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of, like, yeah, that's, that's the best thing about the process. Feel me, mm. learning and like, as, I mean, you look back at it, it's like, man, that shit is funny. <laughs> but you guys are self-contained, but you still react with or move with certain people like Drake. You mentioned him on the on the four minute joint. How you like? Yeah, that in was the future. good. Yeah, that right. was a good thing I'm missing. I ain't missing that bad about it. All right. And you were saying like you like sometimes people get pressed about collaborations and stuff, and like you never really approached it that way with someone like him, right? Yeah, like. It's crazy because in the beginning, I was like, I, I didn't understand in the beginning. And when I sent him a few songs and he ain't never do nothing to it, I was like, damn, for me, like, a little, little disappointed. And then I, I really, like, I woke myself up. Yeah. After, like, a few months later, I really started realizing all the artists asking me for features. Mm -hmm. And I compare, like, certain situations. And I really started understanding, like, I'm moving with techniques. So nobody know the technique I'm moving with. If I don't want to do something, like, you really can't get You might not mad. fit with my mat right now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you really can't get mad if somebody never wanna do nothing which I don't care but any artist ever wanna do nothing like that's why you can't get mad over like friend friendships in this game. If I'm your friend and you don't wanna do a song with me, <laughs> that's it, like that shit dumb funny, but it's it's cool cause it's all like it's just like we we friends. You don't gotta take it like yeah. that. But if we business partners and we do do songs, then you don't want to do a song with me. They start getting in their feelings. Yeah. So you can't really, you can't can't really have friends like that in this game. Like but it's gotta be tough too, because you made friends with people that are going through real things or going through real things. Like you know, Triple X got killed. Takashi's in jail. Is that tough for you also to like make friends outside the circle and then see them go through these harsh situations? Nah, cause I don't want to make friends. Mm. Yeah. 
I ain't here for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's another thing that we learned through the through the time being in this industry. Like, you know, people play you close. They try to, you know, do do stuff with you. But, you know, you think it's a friendship, but it's like, damn, it's all business. Like, mm, yeah. you, you start to see, like, like hand, especially me being behind, like, the, the business and all. Like, you start to see, like, people, were, they, they had, like, it's, it's just business mm. like and I when try the paperwork to, comes yeah, and all yeah that, when yeah. the paperwork and the lawyers and involved and you know the, the language becomes different and I try to I try to keep Boogie and you know the rest of the team involved and like yo listen like this person is you know is is yeah. it, it might seem like this but it's really like this you get what I'm saying so and that's just that's just something that that comes with the, with the industry and the business. So we just gonna keep it business. You can't get emotional, but yeah. that's another thing. Makes a nigga will get mad about that because you might be bonding with a nigga. Oh, this is my man. Uh, mm -hmm. Y'all do a couple songs in the school, then it's time to clear it. Mm -hmm. Send you that check. <laughs> like, I thought you was my man. And right, right. You were more in your feelings and shit. It's like, you can't really be in your feelings about that shit because you at the end of the day you, you wouldn't even know this nigga if y'all ain't mm -hmm. rap. Right. That's how you gotta think about it. We both didn't rap. Facts. We wouldn't even be right here together. It ain't Big like we've been through something. Mm. And like, if I wasn't mm. live, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. had nobody want to work with you. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same. So yeah, like, that shit really crazy. Mm -hmm. And also, I guess, but you're always mindful about the people that are are locked up. That are your friends that have been through you real situations. Like, I think you mentioned a friend Montana. And other friends that Montana, are like, it's fucked up too because I feel like you gotta listen. To this, I see situations right where it could be a nigga got ten murders, shit, right? They got ten to fifteen years, twenty years, son. Nigga, I know my, some of my friends ain't even make enough money. Like this is like for me, drug shit. Niggas got locked up for. Mm. They ain't even make enough money to get this much time they get. Feel me? Mm -hmm. So how niggas getting this much time over this? Niggas like shit like that. It's crazy. And I, I wish I could really do something about it. Like. But I don't know, man. It's crazy. When mm -hmm. things like that happen, do you have like survivors of remorse? Because you know you guys made it out, but you know other people haven't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all survivors. Nah, mm -hmm. the survivors are the survivors. Right. We all survivors. We all been <laughs> been in situations where we we still here. So everybody survived some some crazy shit. Right. <laughs> But like the mm -hmm. ones like your friend Montana or the ones that's locked up, like yeah. just can't experience the things that you guys experience it right now, like. I guess that keeps you guys going, right? Yeah. Like, I got a lot of friends that's locked up. Mm. Facts. And yeah, when you locked up for that much time, it's like, that's your whole life right there. Right. Especially when you get booked at 18, 19, 20 years old, you missing 10 years, you come out with 30. Yeah, you miss, you miss that whole, for me. Right. Well, you got to stay that's encouraged, right. man. Like, Don Q, you said that Bubba, you saw, you saw a quarter and it kept you encouraged. <laughs> I see my man Bubba make a quarter. A quarter. <laughs> What yeah, we, ain't, we ain't gonna talk too much about that, though, <laughs> man. Right. Yo, Trap, tell this nigga what you survived, man. My man, yeah. my man been there. My man, my man is real. Shit, he's man. the real deal. He's, he's, no, very, he's, very, he's very, he's very, like, like he's nonchalant about things, but mm. my man is the real deal. And, you know, Yo, everything he's that he's that talking champagne about champagne is authentic. Mm. He did them there 10 years out of his life in jail. Yeah, wow. champagne. He's looking at the position he's in right now. Right. Changed his life, yeah. changed his family's life. Right. So, right. You know, a lot of niggas that do time like that, they think it's over. I come home, I ain't got shit. Ain't nothing right. gonna happen. Like, it's over. I'm gonna be out here for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So here an example for niggas that, that did time like that. Like, you can switch. It could happen. Like. Right. You give people opportunities. Like, how do you guys continue to stay motivated, motivating each other? So you guys got the championship rings and... That's a fact. It's still surreal, Taj. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Like... Right. I don't know, like, damn, we number two on the billboard right now. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of ungrateful sometimes because it's like, I'm number, we number two, right. but we need number one. Mm. But I'm like, damn, yo, I got to step out my shoes and niggas, be like, yo, we really number expect, two. Niggas ain't even expect to get number two like that. Bro, I ain't gonna like lie, a lot of niggas are sleeping. You know what I'm saying? The way <laughs> sleeping, niggas like, the fuck up. A lot, a lot of people Wake up. Sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> but we here. That's a fact, man. We here, man. Definitely. Head, for real. And so this what, ain't it, man. What we, did you guys do when you got to? I think you went to Dubai, right? Like, what did you when you found the results? Like, what did you do? He was in Dubai. Oh shit! He was in Dubai. It was crazy. <laughs> Yo, Can't lie. this is Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we had a whole lot of fun, man. <laughs> it's crazy because when we found out, though, first thing Boogie gonna say is, "I ain't gonna lie." I had the studio, man. I got to record. Man. Wow. <laughs> last week, right? Yo, as soon wow. as he found out, they like, yo, this shit make me want to record. I'm like, yo, <laughs> he can't stop. <laughs> but yeah, it was litty, though. We had wild fun, man. Shit was crazy. We found out that news we just celebrated. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Non-stop Ace of Spades. Like did QP did it surprise even the label? Did they have pro- their projections? Like <laughs> surprised them. They were surprised. <laughs> we ain't even gonna talk about that, man. I just had text messages. I'm just showing the bros, like, yo, listen, this is where we at, this is where they feel we at. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing about it is like people that we we grew up with in the neighborhood just telling us, like, yo, nah, yo, 90, 100. For real, and I'm just I'm looking at a number in my head, and I'm just like, oh, man, I don't know. I seen that shit going crazy. Yo, trap told me ninety, like it was ninety a hundred, and I'm just like, yo, man, we get that. It's crazy right there. Yeah, I was, I was. A lot of yo, people doubted us. Yo, I woke up seeing that number, I started shaking. I'm like, but that's only a start, Ooh. though. Like, yeah, right. That's like that. That right there was to solidify myself. And I'm not done. Mm-hmm. I'm not done. I got too much to say I'm done. I got artist versus A Boogie coming. Artist 2. Mm. Artist 3. Melody. It's like I got a whole plan. I got everything already here. I got the blueprint already. So mm-hmm. it's like nobody can't do nothing about this shit. You're going to have to kill me, nigga. <laughs> How was your label volume 2? We, we dropping that this year too, man. Yeah. Straight <laughs> New York shit, man. New York. Okay. The New York sound, man. We getting now in our dynasty you bag, you know? Shit. Right. Our, our Rough Riders... <laughs> Feel me, volume one bag, you know? I know the inspiration is, is cats like that, like the Rough Riders, mm-hmm. Rockefeller. Like, talk mm-hmm. about what inspiration they served and what do you think you guys would do? It makes it a little bit different. Like, just 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 seeing them back in the day doing their thing and, like, you know, really putting New York on the map is, like, you know, that's that's everything right there. Like, and I feel like we we wanna we wanna bring that same feeling back, you know, like that 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 New York energy, like yo, we really doing this from the town. Like we and from I the just, town. And not just that too, we we gotta follow their footsteps when they they made a path for us, you know? Yeah. When they come to this money wow. shit. They made a real good path for us. Like and I really watched this and uh we was in a conference in um in LA or something, and I was really watching Puma really talk about how they built their structure from the jump. Mm. And I was listening to them. I'm like, yo, this sound like some shit that that like rock nation. This sound like how rock nation is moving type yeah. shit. It's like they getting they structure for shit like that now. And it's like, damn, that's a really big picture. That's yeah. a big picture from where you come from, and they build that path for us to think like that. So we really gotta pay attention and focus up and follow up. Okay. And and good time deal looks nice, ones. man. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you. Appreciate you said it. the deal so crazy. You might give it to your bros or something like that. Like. <laughs> How did that come about? Oh, it's Puma Gear everywhere right now. Yeah. That came about just from the, um, the relationship. Relationship. With Biggs. Yeah. Okay. Shout with out to Biggs. Biggs. And, Shout out to Emery. Shout out to Chief Johnson. Facts. Facts. They put the plays together right. for us. And if it wasn't for them, I ain't gonna lie. That was, that was it right there. M. Shout out to M. Yeah. Facts. And put that together too. So it's like apparel, it's sneakers, it's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, how was your label? Way Boogie. Puma. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm hmm. We gotta toast it up, man. We gotta Absolutely. celebrate, yeah, man. Yeah, let's get it. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers to High Bridge, baby. Cheers, much cheers, respect, cheers, man. Cheers, the future. Word up. Yeah. Rap Radar Podcast. Yeah, this hand. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats.